So, you know, just in the interest of time, here are some challenges that I've thrown up there. This is certainly not an exhaustive list by any stretch. Um, and, and some of them are a little bit you know, specific to OBIE, but uh, migrations, you know, what, what do I need to migrate? What are all the stuff that are being changed in this particular release that I need to be migrated? Um, have a complicated repository like I displayed up there earlier. Um, maybe you have to repoint the data. Maybe you're, you were originally pointed at this database, now IT is moving the database to a new platform or over to a whole other instance and you have to repoint it to somewhere else. Um, how are things defined? What's out there? Having to work on multiple projects at the same time, making changes to definitions of columns, who's using what, who built what, um, having dashboards with 15 or 20 different tabs on them because users are building their own dashboards and they don't recognize that that can be a little bit cumbersome for, for people to use. Uh, you know, going from a, a starter project of you know 20, 25 reports and then realizing one day you've got you know 3,000, 10,000, 15,000 reports out there. Um, what's not being used? I've got 15,000 reports. Are people actually accessing all 15,000 of these reports? Uh, where do things come from? In, in OBIE, there's a feature called aliases where you can sort of mask a column name and have it reference another name. That can get very confusing when you're trying to uh, traverse back through everything. So there's, you know, again, this is certainly not an exhaustive list. There's a lot of challenges to administrating and maintaining a, a BI environment and, and specifically what we're talking about here today, OBIE. So, what are the types of things that we need, you know, to help us? You know, I made a quick list here uh, because I think these are, are, are types of things that are relevant to have. And again, this is specific to, to OBIE. So, when we talk about dashboards, what are what are actually on a dashboard? What's on a dashboard page? How many reports do I have out there? Uh, how are columns mapping back into the metadata? So, we've got all these columns on these reports. How to, how's all that defined in the metadata? Who's building what and how are they building it? Are they having to build a lot of calculations in the front end because those calculations don't exist in the metadata? Maybe we should be helping them with some metadata development. Um, how are tables and columns flowing back through the, the metadata? How does the metadata map back to the ETL? Uh, you talked about you had a pretty good handle on the ETL, but maybe not so much on the report side. But you've got to connect those two, two things together. Um, how do the ETL targets map back to their sources? So if you're trying to find out where are problems in the source data that's coming through, well, you got to kind of have to know the fields that are being populated in the source system to find out how those affect reports. Um, how are you defining certain tables and columns? And there's there's much much more. That's just a sort of a quick list um, that, that I jotted down. So what about usage tracking? So uh, someone in the in the back of the room mentioned usage tracking and. I apologize, I'm very bad with names. Um, <laughs> so in OBIEE, there is a feature called usage tracking. And uh, the way it works is that you basically start off with an end user who runs a report. That report, the record of that report being run, gets written into a usage tracking database table. And then you can run a usage tracking report, and you can see all that information about who, when, what, when, and how often, and how long it took it, and all those good things for usage tracking, and that's great. Uh, it actually doesn't. That question gets asked a lot. Um, it, it really doesn't. It's, 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 you know, obviously it's a little bit of overhead, but it's not. The, the benefits of having usage tracking turned on outweigh the, the minimal overhead that it places in the system. Because well, we actually do quite a lot of usage reporting on some applications we have in Cognos. Sure, no, in, in OBIE, um, I don't want to say you won't notice it, but, um, you know, because obviously it will vary from environment to environment, certainly, and if you're sitting there studying the, the server, CPU, and memory usage, you might, you know, notice it, but it, it doesn't affect, you know, from an end user perspective, we're not talking about adding tens of seconds onto a report or anything like that, um, you know, so it's, it's benefit, it benefits outweigh, definitely. So, but there's some fundamental problems with just relying on usage tracking for some of the things that I've been talking about. Um, the first reason is because it's only a record of what happens, not what is. So, the only time that information gets written into this database is when a user initiates something. 
So you could actually have a whole slew of reports out there that no one's run in the last year, and you wouldn't know about it necessarily unless you went back through all the history of your usage tracking data to see what's out there. Um, you know, because someone hasn't actually clicked on the report. So, so we need a solution that is is better than just recording what users click on in the system. In OBIE, and now I'm not familiar with the use of tracking capabilities in Hyperion or Cognos, uh, but in OBIE, it only captures minimal information about the dashboards, the, the dashboard pages, and the reports. Uh, it, it, it basically says user X ran this report, came from this dashboard at this period of time. It doesn't tell you what columns are in the report. Um, it doesn't give you any information about whether those columns are formulas or straight columns from the metadata. So it, it, it only gives you this sort of the basics. It captures zero information about the metadata repository. So you have absolutely no information in usage tracking about how all those columns in the report that, you, that your user ran, how do those back back to the metadata? And as such, because of that, there's no awareness of, of ETL at all. So we don't have any information about how the columns on this particular report that maybe run you know, 500 times a day, or it may be a report that takes 20 minutes to run because it's such a big report, uh, we don't have any information about the core things as to how that report is really built and, and, and the tables that it's, it's going to hit. So usage tracking is not really the, the best solution for this type of impact analysis and, and data lineage capabilities that we're looking for. Um, so sadly, you know, while uh, you mentioned that you have used the impact capability within Hyperion, unfortunately Oracle doesn't provide out of the box a solution for what we're talking about here. There isn't an impact analysis tool that's baked into OBIE. Um, so what do we need to do then? What do we really need? Well, what we really need to do is take all these different sources of information um, and build some metadata on it so that we can build some reports and dashboards that show us how things are being built and how things relate to other things. And if I change something in this environment or change this particular thing, how does that affect everything else? So we have some um, repositories of information that we can tap into. We have the use of tracking table. That, that information is valuable, so we want to tap into that. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the BI apps, we have the Informatica repository and the DAC repository. That's going to give us access to our ETL information and how and when things are being run. And then we have a new schema that we need to build to put information in from OBIE itself, information about what's in the catalog, which holds all the reports, and information about what's in the repository, which is the metadata. So this is what we really need have to do that true impact analysis and the data lineage capability.